Hey everybody, Wise Wook here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Crafter Plus Black Market. All the different things that are up for grabs, and at the end, I'm going to give you my personal thoughts on whether I think it's worth it or not. Hope you enjoyed this video and this overview of the new pass. If you do, consider liking and subscribing to see more. So, first off, let's jump into the pass. So, this is what you get. Just by starting the pass, you get a schematic, which is super awesome. Uh, and you get some of these points. We'll come to what they're worth uh, shortly. You've got your black market uh, loot caches, uh, which is very similar to like the McLaren ones. You can get skins out of them. You can be looking and get, you know, the ultimate weapon out of them, stuff like that. And then you've got your usual BP boosts and some hunter's chests. You also get uh, black market vouchers as well. Uh, now, from the last time there was one of these upgrade passes, these essentially worked like contraband coupons. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was an event running at the same time to get extra... Uh, ones of these and they'll give you you know a chance at opening uh, some crates and stuff like that uh, So that's pretty good again. You get some BP and stuff more of the same uh, Polymers a couple of keys a couple more keys 1500 credits at least it's a reasonable amount a usable amount uh, More and more of these you get the little cool icon the icon I actually quite like this time There's only 40 levels and that takes you right to the better icon uh, so it's a bit shorter than usual. They usually level, they go to level 50. However, uh, it's still an eight week pass as well. Also, it does mean, back to the points, these are what you earn at every level past level 30. So as soon as you hit level 30, well, it's 30 level pass really, then it? that's extra. But as soon as you hit level 30, every level after that, you'll get bonus points. And I think it is 10, it could be 20, but I think it's 10 up to this and then you keep going so i feel like a lot of people are going to finish the pass quite quick on this and then it's going to be relying on those extra points and we'll come through to why in a second as usual you've got season missions uh, where you can get an emote here you know this isn't half bad actually to be fair uh, you get some more of the black market uh vouchers and then of course more of that stuff <laughs> the music's just playing on that uh again Achievement missions for dailies, weeklies, and seasons. Obviously, there's eight weeks. That's why it's only an eight weekly one there. You get 30 for each of these, uh, which tops up. Shut that up a sec. Now, in the store, you've got the two choices, as usual. You've got the regular pass, which you start at level one. Uh, you get your first one of these loot caches, and you also get 100 points. Now, if you do that... <clears throat> and finish the pass to level 30, no further. Uh, you do all your season and achievement missions, you'll have a total of 1600 points. If you buy the 10 level boost, where you get five of these, you get a unique uh, opening thing, which is actually a pretty cool one to be fair, and you get 50, 300 of those points, you'll be on 1800 points. Now, what do you do with those points? Those points you come and spend in here. Now, there's quite a lot in here, and we'll go through all the different stuff in a second, but the main attractions are, if you miss them the first time around, you have access to get the, this is the very first uh, upgradable weapon there was, the uh, gearhead barrel. Uh, you can get the SLR, this one I have personally, uh, and I have it where it's on the kill feed now, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, they've got the chance of the org, which is a relatively recent one, and also the previous Halloween one. Uh, so if you haven't got those weapons, you can aim for those. Now, say you do go ahead and just buy the regular version of the pass and you're on 1600 points. You are going to have to do, or be lucky with your parcels, quite a few levels past level 30. So even get enough to get the weapon, which is why I'm leaning towards this uh, pass not being that great. Because last time they did this pass, if you finish the, this type of pass, uh, if you finish the pass, you were guaranteed to get one of the weapons. I think there was a choice of two and then there was like two premium ones whereas this time they're all on the same level and even with you get the more expensive pass yeah you've got a 10 level up so you're likely to go past and get more points but even then you're on the 1800 points you still have to gain another 200 points but say you do that with opening the parcels and the tickets and stuff you get the weapon now for me i have the slr the barrel i've got a pretty good bar battle stat one anyway and the arg not really my cup of tea so i would probably be looking at going for the halloween m4 Cool weapon, starts level one. You get two schematics through the pass so you can start leveling up, no problem. Then you've got the chromas. Now this is where I think it becomes ridiculous with how much they're wanting you to spend because you've struggled to get the 2000 for the weapon in the first place and now you're expected to get 4,500 to get the chroma for it. 
it's like it's unbelievable i have this slr already and if i if i did want the chroma for it which is next to no bloody different i might add 4500 points now bear in mind if we go over to the uh, store here to get the 55 parcels there you get a guaranteed 800 points so you'll probably get some more points out of that say you end up with a thousand in the end right 12,500 points i think it's about 40 quid in money and you're still only on 800 so if you was to just spend your way to get that you could talking about like two three hundred pounds it's absolutely crazy so i think for most people what they're going to do it is pretending they don't even exist because it's just ludicrous like unless you're looking you draw one of these out the crates i can't see many people going for this because i really like that green one but I'm just, there's no way on earth you, I'm spending the money. Unless I happen to get it out of one of those little uh, black market parcels, it ain't happening. Now, some of the good stuff that's available to everyone is these underneath. So you've got these uh, these new backgrounds and one's themed to each weapon. So if I didn't get enough points to get a weapon or if I just decide not to get one, this to match my uh, SLI would actually be pretty cool. Uh, and there's one for each of them. You've got the one for the org as well. Uh, and then you've got the uh, the Halloween M4 one there as well. You've also got a choice of some uh, previous uh, battle stat skins that have been in. Now, these are pretty good. I think these are all right. 500. If you just did the cheapest pass and you finished it, you're at 1600. You can choose three of these. I don't think that's half bad. I don't believe that the Psycho Killer skin warrants even being here. Because when that's been in the crates, I've, I've opened that four or five times and I, can, I don't see how that's the same level of value as like this m4 which is battle stat uh you've got the uh battle stat sks as well there's the guilt dynasty uh k98 you've got a uh, fractured something akm uh you've got the uh, fractured mini uh and the ak is a, it'd be a choice you've got the uh frying pan now, I got the Lion Frying Pan last time through the last upgrade pass, so I don't think I'd go for the pan personally. Uh, you've got these comic book ones, uh, the SKS version as well. You've got this Neon Mini. I've got one of those. I've got the Steam Gorge. In fact, I have all three of those bottom ones there uh, and that. Uh, and again, you know, I think if you've missed those and you were gutted you missed them and there's a specific one like for me, if I'm not going to be getting this M4, I'm going to be getting this M4 instead. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a really cool skin. The SKS probably to match as well. Uh, and then you come down to the skins. Now, these, I think, are a complete rip-off. Unless you're desperate for these skins. Reason being, this skin here, this one. In fact, most of these are old pass ones as well. So if you, if you, if you missed the pass, if you didn't do the pass, you weren't playing then. You know, you've not had them. But the, the biggest thing it is that most of the time you get them in the crates for the hideout i've had this one and scrapped it like three or four times and why would you spend the 700 when a battle stat weapon's 500 unless you've already got them all and you're just like oh, i need to spend them uh there are some cool skins here don't get me wrong but again i think 700 for that i mean for the pcs2 one i mean i know pcs2 is quite old but it's in the hideout so it's like can you imagine if you spent your 700 points on that and then the next bloody hideout crate that you opened it was the thing to craft it you'd be so annoyed uh, the purple outfit's pretty good and then there's a whole selection of uh emotes you know make it rain all these and then you've got more chances at these now in these uh parcels you do have a chance to get uh the four chroma things and i think to be honest that's the only way people are going to be doing them uh you have the chance to get everything so that's the thing as well through opening these parcels you can get all these skins as well so it's it's a bit crazy really but you know you can get the weapons as well so you could be lucky and just get them straight off the bat it would be super unfortunate if you got a chroma for a weapon you didn't have like for example if i opened this on day one and got the chroma for the the barrel and i have the slr it's a bit like well i have to get the barrel now to make use of it don't i you know what i'm saying it kind of ties your hands in that way but I would be super happy if I opened the Chrome for the M4 because then I know I'd just direct my efforts into getting the M4. But yeah, we'll have to see. Personally, I don't think this this uh, Crafter Pass is as good as the previous Crafter Pass because you're not guaranteed a weapon at the end. The normal pass of value, what is it, seven or eight quid or something like that? Everybody will have to make up their own mind. I'll probably jump into it, but just to finish the pass. 
and hopefully get the M4. If not, I'll get, you know, a combination of the stuff below, probably the M4, the S SKS, and maybe the AK. That's 1500, you get 1600 from the base pass. Boom, you know, you've got some out of it. Uh, what is pretty cool is you do get two schematics, so I can continue upgrading my weapons that I already have. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a pretty poor pass to be honest, but especially because there's like literally nothing new other than the chromas. Every, everything that's in it has been out before, so there's literally nothing new other than that emote, I think. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I hope for, hopefully the reason why we're getting such a lackluster pass in my opinion this time is because when we get the new map Rondo in December, they're doing obviously the next survivor pass then. Hopefully there's some, uh, some major wins in there. Uh, but that that's it. That's my opinions and uh, the overview of the uh, the new Black Market Pass. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you do, consider liking and subscribe to see more. And leave a comment below. What do you think of this pass? Hope to hear from you all soon. See you in the next one. Wookie out.